It's many different people coming together in a spirit of fellowship that produces oneness. Ooh, that's an important concept. Oneness. Oneness makes transformation possible. Yeshua said in the book of Yeshua, be transformed by, by the renewing of your mind. If we read the 13th article of the Credo, it simply says this, and I'll read it. It's right here. This is what we believe. This is the power of oneness. The goal of our faith is exaltation, and that by living the sacred principles found in the Song of God, we might become as only begotten of our Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother. Furthermore, we believe that exaltation begins with the transformation of the individual, and that with diligent persistence we can achieve the transcendent state, becoming in our daily life the reflection of God's goodness in the world of mortal men and women. For the true Gnostic, Yeshua is the supreme example of the transcendent state. Well, what is this power? The power of fellowship allows us to explore this process of transforming our mind. Transforming the way we think. That's what it does. We get together. And in this spirit of oneness, we support one another. We help one another. We are of like mind. We are not automatons. I have never asked anyone in the church to raise your hand and support anything. I either represent God or I don't. Again, I don't order anybody around. I don't take upon myself the title of prophet. The world is fed up with prophets. God is fed up with prophets. The very last thing humanity needs is another damned prophet coming on the scene with a whole list of new commands, hedging up the way, scaring the living bejesus out of you so that he can have control over you. That's the very last thing we need. What we need is oneness, where individuality is protected, but it's protected within the process of transformation. You, you, each individual in this room, and every individual on this planet, holds the key to their own transformation. Azrael Andai Amen does not. The Sophia of the church does not. The patriarchal, patriarchal priesthood doesn't hold it. The matriarchal priesthood doesn't hold it. Only the individual child of God holds that key. We are after something. We are after something extraordinary. Oneness is about humanity. I not only want to be one with the members of the church, I want to be one with humanity. I'm part of humanity. This great thing, this wonder of wonders that exist in the universe. I want to be a part of that. I also want to be one with God. And God provided the roadmap that tells me how to do it. It's called this book, this Song of God, this beautiful book right here. It's God's song. It doesn't have God's judgment in it. It doesn't have God's commandments in it. I mean, I, I know what a daddy is. I was a dad. You know, I know what it is to love little kids, and when they do something wrong, you correct them, and then you just go on loving them. You don't put them off into hell someplace forever and ever and ever. Only a monster does that. Well, I'm not a monster. I'm just a mortal. You know, all my kids are now grown up and gone away from home, and they have become adults. I haven't damned them to some kind of hell for daring to follow in the steps of their daddy and become adults. Some of my kids are parents now. Why the mere effrontery? Why the mere arrogance of thinking you could become a parent like your daddy? They're supposed to do that. It's called life. And if you can't handle it, you need to go back to kindergarten. You need to take a nap because... You're not acting very well. Go sit in the corner someplace until you behave yourself. Fellowship is about oneness. 
it's this process. We're going to go through transformation, and you do it well enough, long enough, you find yourself in the transcendent state where you become as only begotten of the father and mother. Israel went through that process, remember? He went through that process. He became only begotten of his father and mother. He had so transcended his environment that God adopted them. God took him into their eternal celestial family. He did well. We don't have one lifetime to get it right. That's ridiculous. My my kid, I sent my kids to school. You know, I, I knew darn well that as much as I loved little Katie, as much as I loved little Archie or Ezra or any of my little darlings, I would not expect them to pass high school algebra in kindergarten. Oh no, we had a process. Grades. Went to kindergarten, went to first grade, second grade, third grade. Mortal life is that way. You go through many lifetimes. And the process of transformation continues just like the process of transcendence continues until you elect to become as only begotten of the father and the mother, your eternal celestial family. That is what this is all about.